Okay, so we are about to go to one of the sites from Cook Aquaculture where we are doing integrated multitrophic aquaculture and uh, it's a project uh, between the University of New Brunswick, uh, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, the uh, St. Andrews Biological Station, Cook Aquaculture and also Acadian Sea Plant. Well, I work on aquaculture because uh, really ocean is my passion and uh, working close to the water and in the labs, it's a wonderful mix. So uh, we work on uh, what we call integrated multitrophic aquaculture or IMTA. That means we are combining the cultivation of salmon with mussels and with seaweed. And the whole idea is to uh, balance the whole system. Well, the, the kelps are very important in the IMTA system because they receive some of the dissolved nutrients directly, but also through uh, IMTA, some of the organic matter will be absorbed and processed by the mussels, by sea urchins, sea cucumber, everything. But ultimately, it all comes down to inorganic nutrients. And the seaweeds are the nutrient scrubbers that you need in the system. Here we have the seaweed raft. Uh, which is with uh, kelp ropes that are underwater, very small at the present time, and it's downstream from the, the site. We have the salmon, the mussels, and the seaweeds uh, a little more down because they are uh, absorbing uh, inorganic uh, nutrients like uh, nitrogen and phosphorus. For, uh, for the environment, what is interesting is that on recycle on utilise plusieurs fois les euh, sels nutritifs, euh, organiques et inorganiques. Et euh, donc ces sels nutritifs, on s'en sert pour euh, cultiver des moules, cultiver des algues. Et donc euh, on, on obtient plus de biomasse, euh, de value, valeur commerciale sur un même site. Apply research is, is very important for industry. It's uh, where we are at the interface between purely industry, purely research, apply research is in between. And that's what we need to progress in the continuum from research to development to commercialization. So that's why uh, applied research is right in the middle of it. The New Brunswick Innovation Foundation is quite unique in the way that it has a toolbox of different types of grants. And for us, for example, we had NBIF concept validation grants, we had uh, a research assistantship initiative, we had research technician assistantship, and all that between 2003 and 2007. And it has been tremendous help uh, for us because we were at that stage going from research to development, and now we are going from development to commercialization. 